Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome along to this channel. Now in this brief tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can simply add your local business on Apple Maps using Apple Business Connect. This is vital if you wanna increase your business's discoverability online and to drive more actions like bookings, calls, sales, and more from people that are actively searching for your business, products, or services online. Okay, so just quickly before we go ahead and dive into this Apple Business Connect tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out the way, let's go ahead and add your local business to Apple Maps and boost your discoverability online. Okay, so to add your local business onto Apple Maps using Business Connect, simply head over to your browser and type in apple.com forward slash business forward slash connect and that's going to take you here. Then all we need to do is simply navigate up to get started. And this is a similar process to setting up your Google business profile. If you currently do not have a Google business profile set up for your local business, what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description for you to check out. However, rather than adding our local business onto Google Maps, what we're doing is allowing our customers to use Safari to find our business on Apple Maps. Simply come down and click on get started. Then come down and what we want to do is sign into our Apple ID. If you currently don't have one, go ahead and create one for free down here. For me, I'm going to add my Apple ID email in here. Then click next. Then choose to sign in with a pass key or password. And then next again. Now you might be asked to add a verification code. Once you've done that, you'll be taken here. Here you want to select agree to terms of use, then come down and choose if you want to receive information via email about Apple Business Connect. I'm going to go ahead and untick this and then click on let's go. Go ahead and choose your business type. We're going to do this for a small business and then click on next. Then go ahead and add your business location. Then if the location doesn't automatically pop up, go ahead and add that new location. Then come down and confirm your location's address. Then once you've added your first business's address, come down and click on next. If you have multiple business locations, you can add those later on. Now we want to add additional details to our business and further optimize our listing. To do that, navigate up to primary category and add the category of your business. Make sure that your display name is correct. And you want to make sure that your business name is exactly how it appears on other assets, other channels online. Then come down and add your phone number and you'll see a preview of what your listing will look like on mobile. Then come down and click on next. Then go ahead and add your operating hours. I'm happy with Monday to Friday and I'm also happy with the operating hours. However, depending on the nature of your business, you can select a specific day and add the hours for those specific days. I'm going to go ahead and click on next. Now, just quickly before I get back to this video, I just want to mention my all-in-one digital playbook that you guys might be interested in called Go Digital Now, the ultimate small business playbook. This dynamic book took me a year to create and is ideal for small business owners, new and existing, that are looking for a clear-cut digital roadmap for setting up the right tools, systems, activities, and strategies so that you can absolutely dominate online. I will add a link in the description below this video if you want to learn more about Go Digital now. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get back to this video. Then go ahead and add your legal business name. Then come down and add your company address. Now, if your company address is the same as the location address that you added earlier, you can simply click here. Then simply navigate down the page. If you have a separate website different to the one that you added earlier, you can add that in here. And then here you have the option to add a DUNS number. For identification purposes, I recommend you go through this process. However, for now, we're going to navigate down here, click tick, make sure that you read the terms of service and then go ahead and click on next. Then here you want to verify your business. To do that, you want to upload an official document. This could be a leasing arrangement, insurance policy, or a utility bill that shows your business and location name and address. Now verification can take up to five days. Again, add the description about that document. And just like that, you're done with the initial setup. Now, because this is just an example, I'm going to navigate down and click on skip. And that's going to take you to this interface where you can manage and optimize your listing. Again, if you're yet to add the relevant information for verification, you can do that at any time up here. Now under info, what we want to do is optimize this listing. Simply navigate down, make sure that your display name is correct, add a brief description about your business, and make sure that you're using keywords related to your business products or services. Also, you want to add photos of your location, 
Make sure that your address and hours are correct, as well as your phone number and website. Here you can showcase specific offers and events. If you have an app, you can add that here. You can also change your categories and then add attributes about this location. It could be free car parking space or anything about the accessibility. Then you have your business status, we're currently open, and then down here we have preferences. Then what you wanna do is navigate over to showcases, and this is similar to posts inside the Google Business Profile. Once your listing is verified, you can add posts that highlight special offers, events, or deals that you have in your business. Next, we have photos. Again, once you're verified, you can add your photos here. Now, it's important to continuously update your photos to show that your business is active, to show that this listing is active, and that's gonna help optimize this listing. For example, once you've finished a project, you can take photos of that project and then upload those images here. Or if you have a happy customer, you can take a photo of that customer and your products or services and add that in here. Then below photos, we have insights, and this is where you can view the analytics of your listing. And then we have company. If we click on company, this is where you can make sure that your business details are correct. Then we have locations, and this is where you can add multiple locations for your business. For example, if you have multiple offices around the country, then you want to add each of those locations in here. And then you have team, and this is where you can add your team members to help you manage your Apple Business Connect. And it's as simple as that to add your local business onto Apple Maps so that you can be discovered on Safari and Google Maps as well as to boost your local discovery in general. The Apple Business Connect is similar to the Google Business Profile in that it's a powerful local citation and directory that's going to send strong signals back to your website. And this is going to help you with local SEO and discoverability online. And there we have it guys, that is it for this brief tutorial showing you how to add your local business onto Apple Maps. Now if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.